Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Mechanics Brewery, where I review various homebrew mechs created by the fans of Lancer because there's quite a lot of interesting pieces left from the previous competition. Anyway, in today's episode, Siriato, from Jagger Consortium, by Delilah. Written in the Divine Comedy, which is about as far away from the modern definition of comedy as possible, Siriato is a demon of the Malbranche, guarding the eighth circle of hell and beating the shit out of any politicians that fell in there. Siriato is said to be associated with hog or pig, hence their other name, the wild hog. Named after the demon, Siriato is a brutal weapon made to drag people straight into the hellfire. But before we get to the hog, let's take a look at Jagger Consortium. Jagger Consortium isn't a corpro state, nor a government, it's literally a family of criminals, organizing other criminals. Jagger Consortium is a space mafia that resides within the Auric Range, and is a constant pain in the ass for IPS Northstar thanks to their smuggling, piracy, and being an intergalactic criminal empire. Now, they have expanded their influence over a new product, mechs, for those without license. Since most of their mechs are heavily modified IPS Northstar frames, those that like toughness and close combat won't find their mechs lacking, with a new level of brutality. Wait, this is just iron-blooded orb. Moving on to the core bonuses. First, Devil's Contract, you are now rich, at what cost? For once permission, during arrest, you may repair one structure and one reactor stress or regain two charges for all of your limited weapons and systems to only full capacity for free, even if you don't have any repair left. Also, you gain plus one accuracy on any triggers that involve you throwing mana everywhere. Basically, you now have money to throw, even your mech will be in nicer shape after a mission. Unfortunately, you might find the consortium asking you for favors every now and then. Malbalgia Radiant Cooling Systems, switch one pain for another. The first time you overheat after a full repair, you do not roll on overheating table or take a reactor stress, instead, you cool all heat, and take burn equal to your heat cap. This burn cannot be resisted or ignored. Anyone around you must also pass an agility save or take half the burn too. So, you basically have an extra reactor stress with this core bonus, unfortunately, if you don't handle the burn well, you will also have minus one structure very soon. Rapid Instinct Deployment Exoskeleton Reinforcement Black, Devil Loaded Fists. At the start of your turn, you can lock onto a nearby enemy as a free action. You may also consume lock-on as part of a melee attack to give that attack a plus one threat instead of plus one accuracy. Keyword, melee attack, which means you can use this with grapple, ram, and improvised attack, which can definitely give your enemy quite a surprise. Hellish perfection, perfection demands perfect attention. When you have full structure, you have plus one armor, when you have zero reactor stress, you have plus one evasion. It is exactly what it said, make sure you keep your mech nice and tidy to get all the bonuses. Anyway, that's all on core bonuses from the consortium, so let's move on to the hog. First up, Siriato has low health, 3 armor, but low evasion and E defense. It's decently speedy, is rather big, has quite a nice heat cap, but low repair cap. Its sensor range is rather poor, and it couldn't hack well, but it does have a nice save target. As for its traits, it has two of them. First, nanonamelate coating, this is just iron-blooded orb. Siriato has resistance to explosive damage and reduces all knockback it suffers by 1 to a minimum of 0. Second, instability, when Siriato takes structure damage or reactor stress, it can choose to have reactor meltdown instead of rolling on either structure damage or overheating table. In a nutshell, Siriato is going to have no problem against explosions despite being one itself. Onto its weapon mounts, it has two, one main and one heavy, along with five base system points. Onto its core passive, every time Siriato takes heat from any source possible, one target within three spaces of it takes two explosive damage. When Siriato is in danger zone, that becomes AP. As for its core power, Siriato can activate Flegia's nanoreactive scales for mummy dust. Upon activation as a protocol, for the rest of the scene, every time you destroy a non-elite or non-ultra enemy with a melee attack, you may make an engineering check to vomit flame into them and turn them into walking bombs upon success, placing them within your sensor range. The walking bombs are 1 health grunts with 6 evasion, 6 e defense, and can only do 3 things, move, boost, and At the start of your turn, you can control them however you want, and they automatically detonate after 2 turns, 
or on death as a quick action. When they explode, everything in burst 1 takes 1d6 plus 2 explosive damage and they leaves no scrap behind. However, when the core power has activated, the core passive is completely down. In short, with this core power, if Siriato can kill its enemies in rapid pace, they will see quite a lot of these terrifying bombs charging towards them, and maybe even waste their bullets on them, distracting them away from the real threat that's in front of them. As for the rest of the license, you get Cascade Engines and Condotieri Axe in the first section. Cascade Engines, get ready to launch. With this system, you can fly when you boost with one heat, but you must land on solid ground or you will fall. Also, when you are in danger zone, you can fly with the system when you move or boost. In short, get this system if you want to turn into a continental demonic missile. Condo Fury Axe. A mercenary needs an axe. It's only fitting. A multi-purpose weapon, perfect for a wandering killer, don't you agree? Of course. This one is a jet axe that strikes with the force to crumple the stoutest of foes. Who the fuck was that decent threat? High damage, costs 2 heat, but whoever within threat 1 will get knocked back by 1 space. It's nice if you want to preserve your personal space at all costs, especially when it costs your enemy's life. Aside from Siriato frame itself, you get shearing systems and goring vent in the second section. Shearing systems, rip, and tear has never been easier, just cover yourself in razor sharp wires and hug your foes to death. Good damage, short threat, and any target you are grappling gets shredded so get ready to cleave them in pieces. Goring Vent, pierce thy enemy with Inferno. As a full action, when in control of a grapple, you may consume a limited charge to vent your heat straight into your grappled target's face, reducing your heat to zero while they take half of your current heat. If you do this while in danger zone, same thing happens, except there's now a cone 3 jet of fire coming out of your grappled target, burning everyone in the cone for 1d3 heat if they fail their agility save. A perfect tool if you are ever worried about dealing with heat, that also makes barbecue out of your enemies. In the final section, you get Reactive Bracer and Gift of Judica. Reactive Bracer, filled with Reactive Explosive Punch. Good damage, short threat, and AP, but it's rather limited. When you attack with this weapon, you do not lose limited charge if you miss. And if you are hit by an attack, for once per round as a reaction, you can punch the goddamn attack back to gain resistance to all damage and burn from said attack, expending a limited charge. Good for offense and defense, there's nothing these bracers couldn't do except hugging people safely. Finally, gift of Judica, make for a nice final present. When you are in control of a grapple, you can spend a full action to implant a parasitic bomb into your target. At the end of their next turn, they must make an engineering save with plus one difficulty. If they pass, the bomb is disarmed and they take 1d6 plus 2 heat. If they fail, it obviously explodes and deals 2d6 AP explosive damage to them and 2d6 explosive damage to everyone else within burst 2. A very powerful delayed explosive or self-combustion bomb, just make sure the target isn't anywhere near you. So, in total, Siriato is a grapple-focused striker that wants to brutally tear apart or blow apart anyone that gets in its way. Basically, it's a manticore that's somehow even more explosive. Its license is also full of tools and systems all close-range combatants or grapple fighters would like. In the end, Siriato is pretty much all about brutality, if you want something that can kill a bunch of targets really fast, Siriato is an option.